Okay, well, here's my new shooting table. I got this idea off a YouTube channel. Um, April Wilkerson, I believe her name is. And she had a table in her shop that she made. She's a she's a woman that young woman that does carpentry. And um, I really like her channel. Anyway, she had this idea with the folding table that goes up to the wall and then latches. And I thought, boy, I really like that idea. I can do something with that and use it for my inside shooting table when I go to shoot. Because one of the problems is uh, outside you have the, the sun blaring on you, then you have the bugs and the mosquitoes, and then the big deal is I feel, always feel like somebody's watching me every time I pull the trigger, and it doesn't make me feel so great. Because not everybody's into somebody in the yard shooting pellet rifles. So anyway, now I don't have to worry about it. I, I have this set up in my lathe room, and I just got started this yesterday. I, I went up and started, got up and started drawing like ideas and stuff. I like things that are heavy duty, but the thing with this table is I try to make it as cheap as possible money wise because today the prices of, of the, the materials are outrageous. So I drawled up some plans and my initial plans had a bracket up against the wall made out of half inch steel pipe with um, flanges and stuff like that and it would have been a flange on that end and then over here would have been coming into a T with a nipple nipple and then an elbow with flange and a flange for nice support on this end but by the time I got there and started adding the, the cost of a lousy piece of black half inch uh, pipe for 13 bucks I was like forget it you're not getting my money I'll do it another way so anyway what I did do is I grabbed a piece of half inch conduit because that's like under three bucks so I grabbed that uh, pricey what I did was I got a half inch rod and that was a little pricey nothing's cheap anymore so I have a half inch rod that runs all the way through from this guy here and it's nutted and then we have the conduit on top and then this table slides on the conduit in position where I can then shoot out the window here when I am ready. But also the plus to this is I can just keep it set up if I want to use it for other things. I can take my nice mat off or I could work on an air gun if I, want, I need some more room because usually my shop downstairs is pretty messy. But anyway, here's how the table table goes the, the legs kick out they fold out and they hit this nice stop right right here so that'll keep the legs nice and stable and then when I am done or when I'm ready to shoot I should say I can just pick the table and I slide it just like that now just give me a second I wish I could put the camera down but I can't so it just slides over into position just like that and now I am in front of the screen window and I can take the screen out and set everything up and shoot. At this height I could practically stand, but I will make something else later on so I can actually have a, a fold down adjustable um, seat or something to do with the floor so then I can use a chair, but somehow I'll work that out if I want to be sitting at this table and shoot out this window. So anyway, um, I have this rotted. There's, there's three eight rod here and here, and it goes from front to back. And then I have rod, one rod over here. And the reason I did that is because I don't, this, it's warm in here in the summer, and I don't want any expansion and twisting on these, the two by threes that I went with. So the two by threes were cheaper, and that's like I said, I, the whole idea was to get this thing done the most inexpensive way as possible. So here you go again when I want to take this apart. There's there's the nut. It's a half inch rod running through very easy to take apart I kick these legs in the legs fold in and then I drop it down to the floor Then I undo the nut and I can slide the whole bar and everything Through this like that Let me get this so you can see what the what this looks like here. I, I may add some pictures So let me just take this off and let's get this where let's get it back up against the wall 
Wish I had somebody that could shoot me. So there it's now it's out of the way, right? So it's very versatile. When this table is over here at the shooting wall, the only thing it needs is right here on the other side of the table is an extra support just to keep it stable. And that's basically going to be a two by three that's drilled out and I'll put it on here. So when I slide this over, I'll slide that over and drop it down to the floor and that'll support that end really good. But anyway, now you just take your legs, lift the whole thing up, just like that, and, and you see the legs are folded. So it's cooking now because it doesn't have that little support I was telling you about. As a matter of fact, I can get a support on this side and a support over here. So no matter where I'm using it, right on any side of the table, I can slide the support over and I'll take care of that little niche in the design. Anyway, what we did here, we took, we, uh, yes, we, we took three quarter inch tees and I um, stuck them on the lathe here and bored them out on the ends, on each end with that variable bit. And that opened the T up so the half inch conduit would slide through the three quarter T. Then you have a nipple screwed into it with a spacer and the cap. That holds this firm to the, um, to the unit. And then as you can see the all thread rod will keep that all stable. So that's it, that's a nifty idea. That's what I came up with. That was the most inexpensive thing I could come up with. Cheap two by threes, the conduit was inexpensive. The rod itself probably was about, I'm gonna guess 10 bucks or just under 10 bucks for a 10 foot of half inch rod. And that was all at Home Depot. So there, that's, that's my shooting table. Now I can get back to the norm and clean this mess up. Well, I want to show anybody that. Um, now, also the the big the other plus is I can come in here in the winter time. I have a little electric heater right up there that I take down and set up and leave on via the thermostat on it, and it just keeps everything nice. The only problem with that idea is if I'm shooting in the winter here. It wouldn't take too long with an open window to cool this place off. So further down the road will be maybe a gas heater mounted on the wall. And I do have that. That's the other part of the project down the road too. I'm gonna to get some air conditioning put in there. Yeah, I know. I actually have the air AC unit for it. I framed out for it. And when I get a chance, I'll put the AC unit in and I can shoot when it's hot or if it feels hot in here, I could run my machine, whatever. We have options. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is we have options. So here, there's the, there's the holes I made because I, I wanted to make it so that we can go anywhere I want it with this. So this is pretty much just about window height and you really don't want any higher than that. But that's, that's you know, I would have loved to have been able to do with, with Unistrot and angle iron and make it look really nice and cleaner, but um, didn't have the option to waste money. If I'm going to waste money, like I said before somewhere, I want to waste it on something I want to waste it on. That's going to be some tooling or some air guns or something like that. But this, this I got done exactly what I wanted and I got it done uh, fairly inexpensive which made me happy and like I said I don't know if you can see it or not if I pull the leg out the the rods recessed I didn't do that originally but I went back and took it apart and recessed it I was in too much of a hurry I was basically throwing this thing together but you know what if you take your time and do it right the first time we, you won't have an accident when snagging on a 3.8 nut off. So now it's, it's clean, There's, it's safe, and uh, I just have this guy to do, one on each side that can slide either way for the support there in the middle. And that's it. So that's pretty cool. Hope you like it. This is Mike saying, take care. <laughs>